Ken Baxter here, founder of public charity Green Global. Today I'd like to tell you more about our planet's most valuable resource, more precious than gold. Water is not only the symbol of prosperity, growth, and life, but without it, we would not survive. Here in America and around the world, we are faced with water shortages like never before. Just last month in nearby California, Governor Jerry Brown announced his state's first ever mandatory water restrictions in an effort to cope with their four year of worst drought in history. San Diego County has begun construction on the Western Hemisphere's largest desalination plant to help ease the impact of their severe water shortage. The giant reverse osmosis facility is expected to be completed later this year but will cost a billion dollars to get up and running. It's not only the west coast of the United States that is drought stricken. We are running out of fresh water all over the planet. In places like Ethiopia, Ghana, and Rwanda, people are walking up to six hours to bring buckets of water to their village, and it's often from a contaminated source. Waterborne but preventable diseases run rampant with many people succumbing to sickness due to lack of sanitation. If you think that's bad, can you imagine what would happen if we ran out of fresh water completely? Global warming has caused big changes in weather patterns all over the world, bringing long droughts to places that were once teeming with life. Because of climate change, this will become much more commonplace and it could get very much worse. As temperature of our planet increases, we need more water, not less. Polar ice caps are melting. Rain and snow comes less often and our rivers and lakes are drying up. We must act now to reverse climate change, save our precious natural resources, and lessen our impact on Earth, reducing our consumption of fossil fuels and making simple changes like recycling and reusing household goods all help reduce our carbon footprint and stop global warming. And by using low flow shower heads, catching rainwater to use in the garden, or simply turning off the faucet while brushing your teeth, we can all cut back our dependency on the tap. We'd love to know what you are doing to help save our water. Leave us a comment below or email with ideas, greenmegreenglobal.org, and we will post them on our social media pages for everyone to see. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.